Hello there. Today we're going to demonstrate an app called eCalc Pro by Snappy Apps. It is the electrical calc for any electrician or electrical engineer out there. Uh, it's available on iPad, iPhone, Blackberry, Android, Symbian, Windows Phone, you name it, it's on it. Uh, any mobile platform. Today we're going to show you the iPad version. And in particular we're going to show you a single module, the transformer module, to give you an idea of the power of this app. Uh, there are also lots of other modules included with this uh, app, motors, receptacles, transformers, uh, ampacity calculators, pipe fill, voltage drop, burial depths, a uh, general calculator that uh, does construction calculations of feet and meters, um, areas, volumes. There's conversions, grounding bond, torque, everything. You name it, this app does it. Um, but today we're going to look at transformers. So, when you go into the transformer section, um, the first section allows you to select your transformer. So you can select between non-dry and dry. Uh, you can select your uh, configuration. So we'll go to delta Y, but you can go to anything you want, obviously. Um, you can solve by KVA or solve by um, primary FLA or secondary FLA. Uh, so if you know your load, uh, today we'll go to KVA. Put in your primary voltage. Uh, we'll keep it 600. You put in your secondary voltage, which we'll keep at 208 for today. KVA, we'll keep at 45. Uh, supports any numbers here, um, decimals, whatever. You can turn your secondary protection on or off. So for now, we'll keep it on. Uh, you can set your overcurrent protection when choking. So we're going to protect at 80%. And then you can set your number of runs. So sometimes you might want to put a parallel run in your secondary because your wire size is too large. So let's say we're going to do that today. You can do up to four runs on either. And then in the bottom section, your results will, they instantly change. Uh, as you're changing your, uh, your UI up here, the results instantly change down here um, to give you your primary results on this side and your secondary results on this side. Um, it will give you your full load amps, both primary and secondary, your KVA, uh, your overcurrent size, which by default sets to its maximum size. And it also gives your overcurrent percentage. So your maximum percentage, which is 300% on your primary right now because we have secondary protection. And it'll give the actual percentage. So we're set to a common fuse size here of 125, which gives us a 288%. Uh, it'll give you a wire size. Now this is based on, remember, your runs. So we have a parallel run in the secondary. So the secondary is actually a number four, parallel run of number four. Uh, it'll give you your pipe size. And your pipe size, again, is is based on your on your parallel runs. So secondary is parallel runs, or we're using a one inch number uh, with number four wire size. And you're grounding and bonding, of course. Um, now once you have it set in here, you can tweak some values. So if you want to choke down your transformer, say your load demand is only 40 amps, you can tweak this down to 40 amps. And as soon as you hit done, it'll give you new overcurrent sizes, your new uh, overcurrent percentages and it'll keep everything within within spec and as soon as you change up here again it'll reset everything so let's just do for an example because if you put this overcurrent size down choke it down to below 125 percent you'll see the secondary overcurrent protection will turn off because it's not required if your primary protection is under 125 percent and ours is set at 92.4 so we're fine there um, this has a general help as well, plus it has um, context sensitive help. So beside each box, you'll see a small I. And if you click on that little I, it'll give help on that particular box. Uh, it'll also give code references. So you can double check results or you can uh, check special notes and, and, and such from your code book. And then when all is said and done, you can uh, email. Oh, this doesn't work on the simulator, but on an actual device, you can hit your email and it'll bring all these results into an email format. So you can either email yourself to save the results or email a guy in the field, or if you're an auto guy in the field, you can email a guy back at the back at the shop. Uh, very handy. Plus, all these values save. So if you were to go out now and go into uh, a different module, say the receptacle module, and then you were to return, or if you were to go right out of the program and then to return the transformers, everything will be maintained and saved. 
Okay, I guess that's about it. So that's the uh, end of this module. Maybe we'll record the other modules so everybody can get a good idea of what they're getting when they uh, purchase this app. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.